I'm Miss Lowe, one of the young adult librarians at the Tinley Park Public Library, and I'm here today to talk to you about books. I'm really excited about the series that I'm going to talk to you about today. It's The series is called Arc of a Scythe by Neil Schusterman, and the first book in the series is just called Scythe. Uh, so just a side note, I've talked to many people about this book, and this word is really confusing to a lot of people. So it is pronounced Scythe. You don't really say the C at the beginning as a hard C, it's just scythe. So it's actually what um, most people would think of as the tool that the Grim Reaper holds, which is very appropriate for this book. This series takes place in the future, and in this future they have gotten rid of disease, uh, death, anything that can kill you, they have found a way to solve it, to cure it. And that is great. They've even You can't even die from old age. When you reach a certain point, you can set your age back and become 21 again and start all over. So this is very exciting. No one has to die, except that leads to a really big problem. Overpopulation. There's too many humans on the planet. So to solve this, they create a, a group of people known as scythes, and it's their job to fix the overpopulation. They have to decide who gets to live and who gets to die, and they have all these rules that they have to follow. So this book starts with Scythe Faraday choosing his new apprentice, and he takes the unusual step of choosing not one, but two apprentices, and this has major effects. I don't want to tell you too much more about the book because I want you to discover it on your own. I will say this first one side starts a little bit slowly for some people and then about halfway through, really stick with it. I'm, I promise you guys, stick with it. And about halfway through, it is going to take off like a roller coaster and then on into book two, Thunderhead, and then through book three, which just came out recently, The Toll. These are, these are getting to be some big books here at the end, but they are worth it. This series is amazing. I loved it. The first book was on the Rebecca Caudle list last year, for those of you who know what that is, and I didn't find a single middle schooler who didn't love that book that tried it. So it's really good. It has wider appeal than you might think, so go ahead and give these a try. Now, before we go today, I did want to... Uh, mention somebody had written in and asked they saw this book on my bookshelf ninth house by Lee Bardugo so I just wanted to give a little update uh, it is Lee Bardugo is a YA author but this is not a YA book actually this is a book for adults although I mean you know who's to say uh, it is about super the, the supernatural and secret societies at Yale University I have not finished it yet I'm maybe about a quarter of the way into it, and it's about to turn into a murder mystery, and I'm really excited. So it's off to, it was off to a little bit of a slow start for me, but it's really picking up right now, and I'm really intrigued. I like supernatural books a lot, and it's off to a pretty good start. So if, if the words supernatural, secret society, murder mystery have you hooked, I would go ahead and give this one a try. Uh, all of the books I talked about today, the three books, uh, the three side books, and The Ninth House by Leah Bardugo are all available through Overdrive, which as always you can access through our website or by using the Libby app. Thanks guys, have a great day and stay well.